Kevin from Happy Beard Games, and I love Batman the Video Game. Yes, Batman the Video Game for the Nintendo NES, based upon the 1989 Batman film by Tim Burton, and this game is by Sunsoft. One of my favorite games on the console, one of my favorite games of all time now, and I love it so much that I'm creating a costume for it. Yes, a full life-size 3D costume based upon the video game character from the Batman video game. You may know Batman, but you might not know Batman the video game, where Batman the video game, he has a purple color palette, a different color scheme, and we're working on a costume just for that. For the first few videos of this series, also in this playlist, I was working on painting the Batman mask cowl, and it turned out pretty good. So we're almost done with that. I have a few parts that I want to show you what I'm going to work on for that in this video today, but for the most part, we're working on the gloves. Yes, we're working on Batman's gloves. And if you want to see what the costume looks like fully as of now, that is, without the gloves and without the cape finished, here you go. Hey guys, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts with this Batman costume. Yes, this is my Batman costume currently. In this video, we're going to be continuing working on this, and there should be at least one more video uh, for some further progress on this costume. But for now, this is a checkup. This is what it looks like currently. We've got the cape. We've got the shirt, which is a long sleeve uh, lavender turtleneck that I just got today. Uh, kind of costs a lot, but it works and it's the right color in my opinion. Um, and then I've got my pants. I've got my pants on, I've got my boots on. I've got my Nintendo NES belt buckle. Uh, a Nintendo NES belt as well. I could make a custom belt, I was thinking about that, but maybe I'll save that for a future project. Uh, I've done that in the past. I've got these gloves, which is what we're going to be focusing on today, is the glove of Batman, and the other glove of Batman. <laughs> both hands, yes, both gloves. Um, and then I got the mask, which is fully painted, we saw that in a few episodes ago. Uh, so here's the mask, all the way around painted. And one thing that I do want to point out before we start is these lines right here where it's seamed. They might actually look kind of cool so uh, as an effect, so we'll see how that turns out when we're done. Let's start right here and just make a brush stroke all the way to the end. The other one right there. This really takes the paint off, doesn't it? So we're going all the way to the end of the glove. And it's painting on pretty nice, but it took all the paint off the brush, so... Or not all of it, but a lot of it. So let's get on here. Make some, uh... Happy little brush strokes here. Put this all over here. It should turn out similarly to the mask, but not exactly, because it's different material. So it does kind of have that fabric look to it. It is a fabric that we're painting on, not not rubber. It's a harder fabric than, than the part that goes in your hands though as well, which I think I mentioned before. So this might take a couple... This might take more than one layer, but we'll see. That's why I'm doing this portion first. Yeah, trying to get it so it looks purple. It doesn't have to be perfect. The mask is not a hundred percent painted purple and it's um it's kind of like that for a reason which i detailed in the video for that uh painting prop uh part um but i just want it to look consistent on the brush strokes that's what i'm focusing on mostly is uh, having these nice long brush strokes that fill the entire glove and not leaving too much paint on one part of the glove uh, versus another part of the glove so we want it to look evenly coated. It doesn't have to be solid purple. It can have some black streaks in it. It can have some black texture to it. Um, it just has to look decent. And so far, it's actually looking pretty good on this part that I'm doing right now. Because I don't know what to expect going into a project like this that I've never done anything like this before, really. Okay, I think we've got enough on this little part right here. That's the best I can get for there. It's kind of getting that groove right there. All right, and then we'll go to that last. I think maybe yeah, we'll go to that last. Um, so what we're gonna do now is get some more paint out because we actually used up almost all of it on that little spot right there. 
That's a pleasant sound. That's, just, that's the sound you want to hear, isn't it? When you're painting. Uh, let's get some more on here. And let's continue on from here. With this part right here. Now there is a seam that goes right there to there. And there's a seam right there as well. So I'm wondering how that'll look showing up once it's painted. Because right now it's black, so you can't really tell with the seam, but we'll see what it looks like once it's purple. Uh, because the seam's still going to be visible. It might give it somewhat of a more realistic texture to it, or a realistic look to it, because it's got the seam in different spots. It's not just a seam for sewing, it's a seam for detail as well, I think. It has to do with the design of the uh, Batman costume. So that's pretty cool. And this glove, by the way, guys, it was a glove set that I bought on Amazon the same time I bought the mask. Now, the mask was actually based upon the 1989 Tim Burton movie, Batman. And um, so that was, like, the appropriate one to choose for this costume. For the gloves, they didn't actually have a Batman 89 glove set. So I got, I think this is Batman v Superman is what this one is. I was going to originally get a much more detailed one that was from Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Uh, those kind of Batman gloves. But I didn't go with that because people said that they were too big on their reviews for Amazon. Like they were oversized. And I didn't want to have to deal with that right now. <laughs> but they did look pretty cool. I don't know if they would look more appropriate than these ones. Or, or not appropriate, but more accurate. But these ones will do. Heck, they're better than what I used on my Batman 89 review video. For the uh, Batman the video game, I mean. Not 89, but the video game. I had a different Batman costume in that video. Almost entirely different costume. But I had the same idea, and that was about a year ago when I recorded that video. Um, to my YouTube channel. And, uh... If you want to check that out, it's actually a pretty decent review. I was That was when I was first able to complete the game of Batman on the NES. So that was when I first beat it. And I beat it, like, a week before I did the review, and then I was like, I need to do a review of this. So then I did, and I, then I realized I didn't record it when I beat it, so I had to record the entire game again, and beating that game was a challenge, so... Um, yeah, but now that I've played it a lot and reviewed it, I kind of... I'm pretty good at it actually. I can I can do it in a, in a in a day. It's one of those games where you have a learning curve. It's hard, and then once you do it a few times, maybe once or twice, you you learn, and then you adapt to it, and you uh, you keep on playing, and you tell you get it, and now it's like the game's not really that hard anymore. Uh, Batman the video game. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I don't know if I want to put any more paint on it, but I'll do one more right here because. This part looks lesser. Let's just get all this right here once again. It's going to have a streaky look to it, which is kind of cool, actually. And the mask kind of has that as well, which I kind of like, which is one of the reasons that I chose this, this type of a paintbrush. That looks a lot more vibrant. I'm really excited to try this out um, with the rest of my costume pieces, which you probably saw on the video by now, but... I got the um, the shirt for this costume, finally. <laughs> that was an important part that I didn't have, but I got it finally today. Uh, not that it took a long time to ship, it's just I didn't know what one to buy and where to buy it. So I did buy the shirt on Amazon as well. It kind of cost a lot. The shipping was like $10 shipping. Um, so it kind of cost a lot. Actually, the shipping was $10, and then I just decided to subscribe to Amazon Prime anyways for like $3 more, so I got two-day shipping, so it was, it worked out that way, I guess. Now I have Amazon Prime. Alright, that's about it for that side. We're going to have to get that, and then these little um, glove parts here, which I think I'm going to use the paintbrush for. Uh, not this paintbrush, but my normal size paintbrush. So let's get this um, part right here done as well. i got to reach a little bit further up. Uh, got a little on my arm. Of course I got some on my arm. You gotta get some paint on you when you're painting.
That's a slicker substance, or a slicker material to paint on. Uh, this part that I'm painting on right now. It's it's very, it's a different material. This one's like a matte material, more like a fabric. Um, this one's different too as well. But this part here is more like plastic, or it's like it's glossy. And it kind of looks weird on this part, so I don't know about doing this. I was originally going to do this part blue, but now, I don't know, it's not really looking that great. But we'll see. Let's pull this back, it's kind of moving. I can hold it right here, I guess, so I can hold it down, I didn't think of that. Put that under there. So this part might take a second coat, this part right here. But one thing that I'm thinking of right now is for these parts right here, you know how these are supposed to be metal on Batman? Maybe if you kind of see through some of the original color, think of it more of like a metallic effect. I don't, I don't really know, but that's the best solution I can think of for that. I don't know what to do with this. I'm just going to make sure all the brush strokes are the same direction now. That's the best I can do for that. Um, it looks a little weird. Maybe if I do a second coat, it'll look better after it dries. We can try that later today in this video. So now what we're going to do is um, I'm going to finish painting this part of the glove. And then we're going to try the next glove. And we might speed up this part. If there's anything interesting I have to say on the next glove, I'll let you know. But uh, for now, we're just going to continue on with this part. And then we'll move on to the second glove. Once again, like I said at the start, we're going to flip it over and do the other one when it dries. Um, the other half of this glove. Because there's still the back part. Now this part's a little tricky because that's kind of on our edge right there. I'm going to use this brush again. Um, pour some more paint out. Lovely sound again, once again. Uh, let's get a little paint on there. Well, a lot of paint. Oops. Yeah, I'll start with the biggest one, and the or the closest one, I mean, and just kind of get this part covered. This is kind of giving me the same effect that the paint did on there, and that might take a while to dry because of the way the substance, uh, or the surface is. I keep saying substance. We're just going to cover up the... It doesn't matter if I'm perfect or not, because these are really sketchy on here already. So I'm just going to cover up as much as I can the yellow part or the gold part with purple. But I've decided I'm not going to do the entire glove purple because, like this glove part right here that goes in your hand. And that's mostly because it's really flexible and it, it would probably like... I don't, I don't I just don't think it would work good. I, I just have a feeling it's not going to work that well. Um, on If I were to paint the whole thing. And it doesn't look that bad without it. So yeah, I don't really want paint on the hand part. Okay, so there's that. I turned out alright. It's just kind of like, it seems like it's not going to dry very well. So we might actually have to cut and do this later. Like another day after I do the other glove. Um... Uh, one side of the other glove because if I flip it over I, I think these might still be wet for longer than I thought they would be. I thought they'd dry but it doesn't seem like they're going to dry as fast as I thought they would. Okay, and it doesn't have to be exact. It just has to be kind of I kind of like it sketchy once again. I know I say that a lot, but uh, that's kind of the idea, and I'm kind of reminding myself as I go along as well. It's kind of hard because it's folding a little bit. With this brush, it's a little bit easier to get in there. I really hope this dries. I'm going to actually set it like in the sunlight when I'm done with this. I didn't do that with the other one. It was a really dry uh, 
or a cloudy day, I mean, and that's okay if I got it on there, but, um, it was a, it was a really cloudy day at the time, so I had my window open, and it was windy, so I just kind of left it that like that, that's how I dried the mask, but for this, I think it's a really sunny day today, so I'm just gonna leave it in the sunlight near the window. Hi, kitty. <laughs> yeah, that's my cat. One of my cats, I'm not sure which one, but I can't even see where he is. He's meowing it up. Okay. Alright, there we go. We've got this half of one of the gloves complete. We're going to work on the other half of another glove. And that'll be it for this video. Um, like I said, once again, we are going to let it sit and dry. Going to finish this up. I actually want to start, since I just did the knuckles purple on the other glove, the part that's yellow and gold right now. Um, I'm just going to do that one part first. It'll be easier uh, for me to just continue that train of thought and work on the, this part of the, uh, the glove right now first. And it's a little different because this glove's the other hand, so you got these on that side now. So this color, color is in. I, I really kind of like the sketchy look of this costume. For some reason, that's just what I like. Um, I kind of messed up there, but... Might be able to rub that part off. I messed up by smudging it there, but let's see if I can rub that off actually with my finger. Okay, we got it off. Um, not even a mistake. It's more like a. I don't even know. It's just it's just something that happens. All right, we are going pretty smoothly today. I mean, the paint's smooth. It's pretty easy, a lot easier than the mask to hold on to, and we're going pretty good. Everything's going all right. How about you guys? Are you guys doing all right? Let me know how you're doing in the comments section below. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this costume. Have you ever seen a costume like this? That's what I'm curious. Um, as far as I know, no one's ever done this costume before, um, except for me, <laughs> and I did it a year ago, but I... It was like not to this extent, not even close, but the idea was there because I did it for the review of the game. Um, so uh, I don't know, I, I looked online for costumes like this. I couldn't really find anything. There wasn't really that much um, stuff. So either someone did it and they never took a picture or they just never did it. I've seen some costumes. I saw one that was uh, Catwoman, but it was like, Jokerified Catwoman, so it was like purple Catwoman. I saw that one recently, and that was at the. Well, I didn't see it in person, but it was at the New York Comic Con that just just happened like last week. So that was cool. Now, by the way, guys, I didn't really talk about this in my last video about the mask, but I kind of mentioned it at the very first video. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. I might have cut this part out, but here we go, guys. This is what I'm gonna tell you. I am going to the Portland Retro Game Expo, which is on October 19th through the 21st. I'll be there all three days. Um, I'm just going to visit. I'm not having a booth or anything. But I, I know people who are having booths. Um, and I know people that know people that are having booths. So there's a lot of cool people going there. A lot of interesting people there. The Portland Retro, Portland Retro Game Expo, I've never been to. But I've been to that same expo center for other conventions. Um, but I'm really, really excited to go there. I'm going with my friend, Brian, and from the Caffeinated Owl. And also, I'm going to meet up with some people there that I've never met before that I know through YouTube. Uh, I met Brian through YouTube as well. Um, but we've known each other for a while. Um, but yeah, I'm going to the Port Portland Retro Game Expo um, in a couple weeks. And I'm going to be wearing this costume on Saturday. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous about it, to be honest, um, but we're working on it, and I'm getting a little more confident, and I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so that'll be really cool to wear that to the convention on one of the days. So if you're there, and you're going to the Portland Retro Game Expo, let me know, because uh, it's going to be really cool. And it'll be really cool to see you there, too. Uh, and, and also, I'm going to be recording when I'm there, so I'll have some videos for you, as well as a pickups video after the convention when I get back home. So that's a little announcement there. I didn't really, I don't think I've talked about that that much. 
And we're running out of time on my memory card, so I might have to just go through this kind of quickly. We are literally at nine minutes left on my memory card. So I'm not going to speed through it necessarily, but because um, I don't want it to look bad, of course. But I might have to cut it short a little bit. There's nothing really new to see at this part of the video. Uh, there's just what I have to say. And I'm running out of things to say right now, so... Let's just do the same thing as I did on the other glove, and off screen I'll be painting the back sides of the gloves once they dry at a later time. They should end up looking identical, or as close to identical as they can, because I'm doing the exact same method for painting both gloves. Doing the exact same style of uh, brush strokes, same color paint, same brush. And we're going to need some more paint on this one, but, uh, yeah. It's turned out really good, guys. I'm honestly surprised at how much of this costume that I imagined would work is actually turning out to work. And in some cases, it's a little bit different. It's not exactly as I imagined. Um, and in some cases, it's also turning out better than I imagined. Like, the mask looks really good, in my opinion. Um, and it, the colors are a lot more vibrant than I imagined they would be, which is a good thing. I thought they'd be more dull or dark. Um, but it's all turned out good. So, uh, we are going to just continue painting this. I might be able to finish it before we run out of time on my camera. Okay, let's finish this part right here. This paint's actually pretty good. I didn't tell you what paint it was, but I did on the mask video. It's called Ceram. Ceram Coat. It's acrylic paint by Delta Creatives, and it doesn't have very much of an odor. Unless you take a big glob like I just did. I just finally started smelling the paint. On the mask, I could smell it after a while, but it didn't last too long of an odor, an odor of this paint. I didn't really smell too strongly, which is good, because I'm painting a lot here. Um, so it's gonna smell to an extent, which might bother some people. I mean, you don't notice on YouTube, of course, but just just as a review of the paint. Um, it's pretty pretty good paint, actually. I, I didn't think it would be as good as it was. And I don't really paint too often, but uh, this paint's pretty good. Make sure... Okay, that's right. We've got six minutes left on the clock. Come on, Kevin, you can do it. Looking pretty good so far. Get in that little crevice right there, a little crack. Crack in the fold in the material. Let me look over it real quick. I think we got it all as good as it's going to get right now. Alright guys, that's it for this second glove. Alright guys, thanks for watching Happy Beard Games. We painted some Batman gloves based upon the color scheme of the Batman NES video game from Sunsoft on the Nintendo NES. It was a lot of fun to paint, and it should turn out pretty good. They're still drying at the moment, but in a future video, probably the cape video, I will show you what the gloves look like when they're fully painted and on my full costume once again. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and leave this video a like. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the progress of the costume so far. And stay tuned to Hybrid Games for classic gaming goodness. Alright guys, bye!